Well guys, here we are again. We're at Sissinghurst. It's a beautiful Thursday morning. It's clouded over a little bit. Now, here we are. We've got today's little plants. We've got some cardamine potensis, also known as cuckoo flower or lady smock. And right next door to it, we've got some dog's mercury. The dog's mercury is poisonous. This doesn't do you a lot of good, doesn't do the animals a lot of good. But swinging round, we've got this lovely little plant. Cardamine protensis. It's a member of the cabbage family. Um, it's very, very tasty. It's got a slightly peppery taste. It is a wild edible, but also very important. It's a very important plant for the orange tip butterfly. Its larvae will live off of this and also off of another plant called hedge garlic. A lovely little plant. Uh, if I swing round, you can see there. Beautiful little example. You can see the leaves. As I say, it's a very, very, very lovely little plant. Um, I shall tell you if I can turn this around. Well, I can't turn the thing around. I have to turn it off. So I'm going to carry on. We're going to be walking down here. Um, as I say, I come here every week. I've changed my days to a Thursday now. Uh, for practical reasons, I can spend more time with my good lady. Now, as we've come around here, we've come over this many, many times. And as I pointed out in a previous video, this is actually a fossil river. Looks like a stream, and it is a stream. But hundreds and thousands of years ago, it was a river. But over the over millennia, it has silted up, and we've ended up with this. Such is the ways of nature. Everything in nature is on the constant move. Now we're coming along here. We're coming into the woodland itself. Lovely piece of coppice woodland. It's all man-managed. Um, the 97, 98 percent of all the woodland in the UK is man-managed. As we come round here, now the greenery you can see will be in a few weeks blue. In fact, I can just see little bits of blue popping up. These are the bluebells, which are sitting is very famous for in their woods. Uh, what looks like grass is actually Stellaria holostea or stitchwort. As we come across here, it's beautiful. I mean, it's Woodland is starting to look good. We have entered into the spring time of the year. Now we've got another little plant here. That's Arum maculatum. Now the Arum maculatum, or cuckoo pin, or vicar in the pulpit, is a poisonous plant. It's uh, has there is some record of it being eaten in the past, but its use was in the past. It's got a lot of starch in the roots, used for starching your clothes to make them stiff. Um, Arum for poison, maculatum, because it develops a dark patch on the leaves. It's also known as lords and ladies. Now, as I come down here, we've got some primroses, much loved by the Victorians. The leaves are a wild edible, and so are the flowers. We're coming along here. As I come into the grounds today, up by the barn where I'll kick off my walks and talks, we saw some cowslips. And the cowslips were looking beautiful. Word come, the word itself means cow slop, or means the, uh, it sprung up in amongst the cow dung. So, it is, um, it is how it goes, you know. Um, we come along here, there is some more beautiful little primroses. Now as we come up to this bend in the river, later on in the year, hopefully I'll be able to get some uh, video footage of the demoiselles. We have some lovely little demoiselles, damsels and dragonflies. The dragonflies and damsels tend to be over there on the lakes. But round here, on this particular part of the river, we find demoiselles. Uh, yeah, demoiselles. They flutter like butterflies, and when they settle, they look like damsels. 
Um, anyway, guys, that's the uh, little end of this little chat for today. Um, catch you later, and TTFN.